<laughs> One more time. I'm going to run through this. You're going to play Etta. Oh, okay. Dry, You're gonna play Etta, the he's a human knight who is in line with King Gark, and he will do anything to protect him. Drothnor. Anything? Drothnor is Jalen's I'm, character I'm who is siding very with Kelia. Un, like, I'm moment. very on the fence. Kelia is the big bad guy in the mind. He has entered a big old dome room um, that was full of ooze and pews and. <laughs> And Jews. I didn't say that. I'm a I Jew. I want to be a Jew. Jew. <laughs> You're a Jewish Tithling. Okay. I'll, I'll keep that to the side. Keep that to the side. Tofo, a Claire's character, a bar triton, basically like a mermaid with like long tentacle hair. That's smart and goes to college. But is like 92. Yeah. Um, but I'm not, she ran but back I'm in the previous room. To go get the the magical item, so Helia could not get. It. Uh, we're right in, knee deep in the middle of combat. Do you guys want to like bring bring him up to speed for that? Because like you're all moving parts. So you're pretty much ten play at this point. Like you're kind of dead. You but, have uh, five HP out of forty. Yeah. Uh, so uh, like, play hard. Go no, aggressive. no. Like I'm trying to convince you to be like. Okay. Hey, no, no, like, no. But Edda is very <laughs> against Helia. Edda is very against you. Yeah, he's Helia. very against Helia. I'm trying to save your shit by being like, hey, if you spare the boy... But like, I actually saved his shit. <laughs> you did. Um, yeah, I did. You rec- Edda recently just like tried to pull a plus one sunblade out of Helia's like, scorpion bone tail. It's on the floor right now. Remember that? So Edda really wants this item because he knows that it will do a considerable amount of damage Whose to... Whose turn is it? Mine. Topos, we're back to the top of the order. Let me grab it. <laughs> We're back to the top of the order. You Tofo, what do you want to do in this situation? Well, I'm lawfully good, but I'm really mad at him because he's, like, betraying us. So. But what about in the game? <laughs> 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 what about in the D&D? <laughs> what about in the D&D? <laughs> so, I'm afraid that he's going to get this, so I'm going to cut his arms off. Do okay, it. so you're going to roll a... Because I don't trust him anymore. What are you using? I will not drive you home. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what you, are you using? Have to. <laughs> what are you using? Your uh, scimitar? Just... Scimitar? I can do that. Okay. Pull me a 1d20. Drop note. What is your armor class? Roll a 20, please. A 5. You oh, didn't no. hit it. I already know you didn't hit it. Can I re-roll? No. My armor class roll is a second one. Roll a second one. I'll let you call this advantage. I'll let you call this advantage. <laughs> what if it's worse Fuck than Fuck you! Then you don't get over 5. Seven. Okay, you yes, seven. my entire ass. <laughs> you <laughs> still don't hit Drothnor's armor class, but your ice oh scimitar God. clashes against his robes. And I'm just kind of like, well, what what the fuck? Like, okay. what are you cool. what the fuck you doing? <laughs> Nevaeh, it's your turn. And I pull, I pull no. out. No. Okay, it's my turn. I want to. You're still in the room with Helia and Etta, and they both noticed the sword has hit the ground. It clanged a little. Helia turns his back. And he's gonna start making his way towards the sun blade because he still wants it. And he's, okay, no. as far as he knows, Drothnor is going to get the other two. Rooms you took there. my phone, Claire. Okay. No, uh, I'm gonna say let's get rambunctious. Oh, yeah. Let's get rambunctious. Let's, get rambunctious. let's all say it together. Let's no. let's get rambunctious. Three, two, <laughs> one. Let's get let's rambunctious. Get rambunctious. <laughs> all right, roll with advantage. You get that because of uh, him. 14. Okay, see so if you roll higher. Advantage. Oh, okay. Fuck your character. Okay, 14. You... Fuck all of your character. One. Okay, so I'm going to get hit with this. Uh-huh. What did you, one charge? Uh-huh. Okay, roll me two d10s, please. And it, is it clarified as radiant damage? Uh, have, we, have we ever talked about Which that weapon is it? It's, it's the ring of the ram. ram. No, it's not radiant. It's not radiant. It's fucking it damage, you dumb... <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that later, and I can't wait. Ten, force, push, five, push. No, it's not radiant. Really okay. It's not really Is this your last one? No, I'm no. You think I give a shit about you bleeping shit, you motherfucker? <laughs> Seven. Okay, roll it again. Two d ten. 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 Seventeen. Shit. You mm. get slammed with this giant uh, ethereal ram figure, and just like, and it pushes him off of the like immediate area of the sword. So he's now, what, 10, 10 feet? Is that what we called it? Yeah, 10 feet yeah. further away. Can you move the bone devil over 10 feet? You might have to use a pin to kind of make the Where mark. Where did go? The pin devil. No, the bone devil oh, is the this. big one. Yeah, yeah. 
He's real pissed that you just hit him. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna take two ball attacks on you and a sting on Edda. Okay. Hmm? You'll see. Uh, six and a two, he hits I'm neither of your claw, or two claws attacks at you, and you wistfully, you like, dodge out of the way <sighs> with he the ring. He doesn't hit either of us? No, for you. Oh, I'm roll for okay, cool. Edda now. Okay. Okay. 17. What, what, AC? Does it say AC at the top in this top 18. three? 18. Ooh, barely. Okay, narrowly avoided that shit. So, the scorpion tail of the bone devil comes railing at you. And it hits you in the chest, but it's just right above your chest plate. And it doesn't make contact through that. So everybody did not get hit in that. Good job. Woo! Take it for what it is, because I'm going to hit hard. Is he falling asleep? Probably. Strothnor, it is your turn. <laughs> Roll me something. Roll me something good. You are still... You've, oh, you're out there with Tofo. And she just swung yeah. at you. So I'm gonna look at me like, hey, I really think we need to we need to kill King Gark. Do you want to roll a charisma check, and you can bluff it? How how against this are you, you Tofo? Strongly. She's super against it. Roll with advantage. You're gonna make charisma bluffs. Roll with advantage. So roll it, not you, Drothnor. Drothnor rolls it once. You Tofo will bl- roll as a bluff twice. And take the higher number as advantage. With Roll! With a 20? With a 20. Yeah, yeah. Um, nine. nine! Nine, roll again. Ten. 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 Okay. If he can be ten, he's probably going to persuade you a little. Five. Okay. <laughs> so, fist fucking my dick. He says that to you. <laughs> and if you give him this blank stare of like, I'm not, I'm not going to let Helia escape here alive. How do you how do you react to this? Because you're not convinced. Like you fucker, <laughs> how could you betray us? Like he's got the wool pulled over your eyes. And I really want to attack him, but it's not my turn. Okay, Drop Are you doing anything else? You, that was like an action. Uh, you have a bit of a reaction. You can ready an attack if you're really like, to fight. Like you're you're on the wrong side of this. Just, just throwing that out there. Like, we need to kill King Ark and see what happens after that. Okay. Like, as, as long Zach, as it is your turn, is a sword away from me, whatever I'm doing. Like, as long uh, as you're like 15 feet, so you could definitely long, move there. As long as you don't kill Edda, I'm on on I'm on Helia's side. <laughs> <laughs> but Edda is willing. I'm not to drunk. Kill, Edda is willing to kill. Or excuse me, Helia is willing to kill anyone to get all the room. So you can fight, you have low HP. I mean, I make a move towards that sword. Where the fuck okay. Uh, Dude, join us! You took Helia off the map a little bit. Yeah, to replace it with the bow down. I have to okay, play to my so character. Okay, so you're gonna say that he's like here? That's Helia, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so the sword's like in between them. So if he wants to, where is, okay, so say it's right here. Yeah. Where this, don't want to are you gonna talk him out of this out of game? No, no, no. That's <laughs> meta gaming. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. She's so, Etta can definitely make like a good mad dash towards it. You can. You can definitely make a mad dash towards it. Right roll a one d. Uh, what do you What do you want to do? And I'll tell you what you need to do to roll for it. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna make a dash for that sword. Okay. Huh? Roll me two of the d twenties. You'll take the lower number. It's disadvantage because you're right in the middle of the fight. Okay. Uh, and then we'll decide if you get it or not. Seven. Two. No. You're right in front of it, and <laughs> you... I'm sorry to tell you this, but this is absolutely in Edda's character, that he falls at the last second and slips. And his <laughs> fingertips just barely touch the, like, handle of the blade. And there's only, what's his name in the room with us? Helia and Nevea. Nevea is a... Um, Nevea is a Asmir, like, half-angel druid, and... Helia is the big bad evil guy. Nobody's hurt him yet. A little. We've got a little damage on him. Did you? I might get ready up. Is there like a ready up to getting hit or something? You can prepare an attack and I'll let you roll advantage for the next one. Like, like, okay. What we would say if you wanted to prepare an attack, what I won't you would do? Prepare myself because obviously I just ate dirt. So, so you're gonna like scurry for the like blade or what? Because Edda has like what five HP. He has five HP. That's how like when he's. 
paladin, right? Whatever the fuck. He's a paladin. Paladin. No, he's a knight, knight, but he has paladin skills, I think. Don't go. Don't go. Is there not any, like, readying up to get in, like, fucking, like, getting up and, like... Uh, you have touch hands, which would heal you. You you can prepare in an action, which I will let you... Like, I'm, gonna you that I'm gonna prepare that touch hands. I'm gonna prepare that touch hands, because... No, just to go ahead and use touch hands. Oh, then I'll use it. Um, what does it say next to it? Uh, plus 15, so that puts me 20. Plus 15? 15 HP. Okay. It's your Topo's turn. Off again. Hope I get it. Fuck all of... Fuck your entire life. <laughs> 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 All right, scimitar. Give your balls a tug, you tip fucker. One d twenty plus two. Sixteen, so eighteen. Drothnor, what's your armor class? Probably 13. fourteen or fifteen. Thirteen. Oh, so 14. you hit. Roll me with your damage. What does it say on your? Why are you sheet? trying to hit me? So do I roll this again? Dead. No, no. It should be like a one d six or something like that. Baby, hey, baby. What does it say on your sheet, Claire? Oh, I don't have it. No, what's the what's the sheet oh. say for a scimitar? 1d6 plus 4. It's the it's the regular die looking one, six sided. It's just a square one. one. Hey Claire, find yeah, the one that looks like a dice. Oh, she doesn't it's have that. No, she That's does. She weird. has it in her hand. No, it's but his. She's, she's... Oh, okay. What do you want? You don't blue? have it either. Blue. Right it's right here. I have it. We used it. Yeah. Say, <laughs> <how much laughs> it. Hey Jay, okay. this is yours. <laughs> this is your d6. <laughs> Hook it up, bruh. Five. Okay, you do five damage to Drothnor. Take five off. Plus four ice damage, Jalen. So you did, what did you roll the first God time? fucking five. damn. You rolled fucking you, you did damn my damage asshole total. fucking and he, shit. he got a little, the, the slash that he takes at the shoulder, the left shoulder, has like ice forming on the outside of the cut. Don't let me kill you. Everybody roll me a perception check. 1d20. Why though? Because I want to. I rolled a 14, you fucking asshole. I board. got a 15, 15, 9. 15, 9. 14. 4, 6, 4. Um, 14. No, I think no, I rolled the wrong one. one. Oops, I rolled the one you ever. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. Still's a 4. 3, Bro, even worse. Man. Oh, that was <laughs> bad. <laughs> I hate how on character you're playing. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> super good. It's, it's, like, super, I good. Good. it's super good. Okay. Maybe we um, should change my other character. <laughs> um, I should probably stop drinking. 16? Do you want some water? 15. 15. 15 to 14? Yeah. And Nevaeh both realize that the pyramid is sinking. You're probably like 70 feet above the ground where you started at 100. Edda doesn't notice. Drothnor doesn't care. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there that the pyramid is sinking. In the room that Utofo and Drothnor are in, the sand is rising. Okay, It's so probably like six inches now. It is, Uto- is Nevada. <laughs> I want to kind of talk to Edda and be like, dude, this pyramid is sinking. We need to get the fuck out of here. Okay. But I also want to make an attack on Helia. Okay. Again. Okay. Like, I want to make another attack. So we just, like, Ugh. get the fuck out. As, like, a distraction? Kind of. Okay, but you're still going to try to actually do damage. Yes. What are you using? Um, shit. If you say scimitar, I'm gonna. I want to use. Some, shit. I want to use inflict scimitar. wounds on. Helium. You want to use what? Inflict wounds. Okay. Uh, does it say a DC saving throw for it? No, it doesn't. It just says on hit the target takes. Don't let me drink any more. Okay. Okay. I think we wrote this down. Let me look a little bit more. I'm pretty sure that we. Your wrote. spellcaster ability. Is it five? Because I'm shit. I think it's no. A spell attack modifier? Spell attack modifier. <laughs> it's plus five. And it doesn't say a plus five. It hit. just says plus five. That's all I got for you. Because we have spell casters. Spell save DC 13. That's what okay. I'm looking for. Okay, so I have to roll over a 13 not to get hit by this. Okay. Rolls a nine. It's hit. Okay. So, what was the damage? <laughs> I don't know. Inflict wounds, radiant damage. So, I'm just gonna throw <laughs> no, this out there. No, inflict wounds is necrotic damage. Three d ten. Roll the three d tens and half it. He's resistant to necrotic. I thought it was radiant. Uh, six. Three. Two. One. It rounds up, so it's five. Seven. Five. Uh, so oh, you did was, four. Was it two or was it three? It rounds up. It was two. So would you? Three, one, and four. Yeah, three, one, and four. So you have eight damage. 
Okay. But you're gonna tell Etta that you need that we need to, to we get need out. Leave. Okay. Yeah. Convey it to him. Convey it to him. I mean. We need to leave this pyramid. It's sinking. I... <laughs> Help. It's Helia's turn, and he peeks over to the flaming doorway, and he thinks to himself, "Where the what fuck a is that? World. Where's that fucking t- Jewish tiefling?" <laughs> Fucking drunk and passed out, probably. That's super on <laughs> brand, so too. so in character. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, I can see your belly jam. Yeah! <laughs> so Helia is going to make a mad dash for a for the door. And I'm assuming that he's going to have to use his dash action and take uh, an opportunity attack. You two can roll for attack at this point. Sick. Helia yes. is gonna. We move the Bone Devil really? closer There's to no like Drachnor. Ed and Nevea will be offered an opportunity attack to hit because he is gonna dash for the flaming door to break back out into the big room to find out what is going on. Where are the ruin? Where are the other runes? He needs them. Like, okay. Okay. Do you guys so on my opportunity attack? attacks? No. Can I grab the sword on my attack? I'm you can. You can do that instead. Yeah. I'm trying to get him. Away from the store to okay. get to the rooms. So, what's to do? Do I have like an actual attack rule? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would like to run in front of him and use my last charge of the ring and the ram to punch Push him back, back 10 feet? Push okay. Him back. Okay. No, it's me. Spellcaster oh. save 13. That's right. I forgot. This. 11 doesn't hit. So, um, roll me 2d10 to see how much damage you do and push the pin back another two squares. This one? Thank you, Claire. Yeah, you can use whatever you need to make a hole. I've got eight. Eight. And six. Fourteen damage. Uh, you can see, like, green ooze sliming out of him, like, in his face. On his right eye, specifically. I yeah. wanna, I'm gonna get him the hourglass pyramid and all that shit. Make a strength check contest with Yukopo, because she has it in her hand. So both of you roll 1d20s. So whoever gets the higher number will get the hourglass. No. A 1d20. What do you roll? Seven, six. Seven and six. It's a fist. Cool. Fuck my dick hole shithole. No, what's your strength modifiers? What's your strength modifiers? Zero. No, no, what's the modifier? The small number. Oh. Zero. It doesn't it's matter. She wins. No, I'm a one. So okay. she has an eight. She Definitely. pulls it back from Drothnor's hands. Do you say anything to him? You fuckity fucker. Okay. <laughs> you drunkity drunker. Drop is that how you're going to end your turn? What do you want to do? You tried to pull it from her and you didn't get it. Did you? What did you say last turn that you were going to prepare an action? What was that? You totally turned on that. Well, I'm just like, hey, like... You're still trying to, like, bluff her? Like, what? What? Like, quit fighting this motherfucker. Like, help me kill King Guard. Are you trying to use that as a, like, charisma check? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm still gonna say no. She's I still- can't. Roll with advantage. Why though? Why roll. do we need to fight this dude? Quit. We don't roll, need to roll fight 2D20s, him. Roll 2d20s. Whichever take the highest number, add your charisma modifier. Jalen, roll once. Three. Oh, shit. Nineteen. God fucking damn my she, asshole she shit. It. Okay, so she will not let go of this, and she does not seem to be any time her entire soon. life. She does not want to give the pyramid, the higher, the hourglass, excuse me, up to you. Helia has now made it past Droth, uh, Etta, and Nevea, and is going to continue another 30 feet. We move him up to Drothnor, like next to Drothnor. Move uh, the Bone Devil. He's now made it into the big room with the runes and he sees Drothlor and Utofo like pulling the hourglass back and forth and he's going to decide that like it's not even worth it. He's gonna go for the like he this is as far as he made it, but he's intentionally he's moving past Drothlor and Utofo to get to the Green Pyramid at the farthest reaches of the room. And that'll be his full move. He decided that he doesn't want to fuck with Nevaeh anymore. Is this? He sprinted past you and the druid next to you. Oh shit, what's that? making it toward the door. That thing I picked up. The sun blade. Yeah. You have it on there. It's on the back, I think. 
Plus two to attack and plus two to damage, and it does radiant damage, so. Alright, there it is, sweet. I mean, he's too far for me to reach, right? No, you can make 30 feet. I assume that's your moving speed. Yeah. Yeah, you can make 30 feet. That's the only exit from the room, right? Yeah. Well, like, shit, leave the room and attack him. So, okay. Uh, go ahead and move the green pin up behind him, and what uh, what weapon do you want to use? The sunblade? Yeah, the sunblade. So roll me a 1d20 plus 2. We'll see if it breaks his armor class. D20. No, you roll it once, homie. Oh, you say 1d20. Okay, there's a 9. Okay, you don't hit. Yeah. Uh, you, I assume, like, javelin, longsword, whatever you have, you stab at him, and it doesn't, it, he's a bone devil, so he's got, like, just skeletal, and it slides right through his ribs. Back to you, Tofo. Top of the turn. Okay. Top of the round. Is there sand in here, too? It's just a little, just, like, a few, like, okay, because that room through the fiery door transfers you, like, 70, 80 feet up into the okay. top of the pyramid. So when you come out of the door, you come back to like not necessarily base and level, but like 10, 15 feet. So there's some sand rising there before the okay. sand in the like uppermost part of it is. Okay. So I, can I see him there? Like I know he's yes. there. Yes. Yes. Okay. So can they I come through the door. The only people on the other side of the door is Nevea. Can I do a cantrip and make him like come in here and just like play in the sand? Like that's all yeah. he has to do. Is yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what does it say for vi vicious mockery okay. cantrip? Um, 63, DC 13 wisdom okay. saving throw. Or, or, or take 1d4 psychic damage. I'm sorry, player, I rolled a nat 20. I do I'm not get hit by that. He hears you behind him, he now knows that you're there, and he's not super concerned because the last he knows of your character is that all you did was try to save Edda. Yeah. Um, Wait, and that you're scimitar. Now. I have yeah. a question now. It says DC 13 wisdom saving throw or take 1d4 psychic damage. So it's, do I pick? It, no, okay. no, no, no. It's, it's more of like a in combat thing than anything. So like since we're in combat, I have to make DC saving throws. But if it wasn't in combat, if you were just like, I'm going to use my vicious mockery cantrip on like these you know, villagers or whatever it may be to do something stupid, they would also take a 1d4. But if you, if I didn't, Make my save, I would take the 1d4 as well. Okay. okay. Nevaeh. Hold on, sorry. At this point, there's two options. You know that the, like, the pyramid is sinking, and Helia has made himself closer to the door. How He's... Because I pushed him back my last time. Yeah, and then he moved up. Oh, real close. Okay. He's going to miss this next turn to move up, because I got it out of order on exit. Um, I guess I want to try and make a bad dash. Just out of its room. What's your, moving, out of the what's your moving speed? It is 30 feet. Uh, I'm going to roll a 1d20. Are you doing a dash action and take a disengage? Okay, I'm going to roll a 1d20. If I do under 10, I'm not going to take a, um opportunity attack. Because okay. his back is to you, so he doesn't okay. necessarily know that you're dashing. I rolled an 11. Uh, I honestly don't think that's close enough because it still doesn't make sense because of the fiery door and the elevation change. So, as you come through the door, he notices you, turns his head back and sees you, but doesn't take an attack. Okay. Okay. So where am I at? Uh, right, uh, right next to green. Helia is going to make a mad dash. So he's going to take another opportunity attack. Can you move? So he said 70 feet. So every. You know, five, seven counts, I mean. Jalen, about to be your turn, wake up. Uh -huh. Is he just like going straight forward? Yeah. I'm gonna try to make it between the two green pins. Yeah. Okay, and he will be able to take an opportunity to attack from everyone now that they're in the room. Everybody is in the room. But as he gets closer to the green pyramid, you guys are gonna see him try to like kind of scoop down trying to pick up the green pyramid as he's like running out and he looks back and he says two out of three ain't bad <laughs> okay uh who all wants to take a opportunity to attack i do edda nevaeh yeah. tofo nope <laughs> he's out you took is not gonna take an opportunity to attack okay Fuck Everybody, no. what are you rolling with um so I... you can add your modifiers 
I'm gonna do a move. Cool, what's the DC save? It's a spell. Yeah. Okay, so DC 13. Okay. Fails it. Nevaeh casts a. You'll have to roll me an attack in a minute or damage. Casts this big moonbeam and it, um, it shines right on top of Helia. And as the moonbeam comes down upon him, you see his true nature, like Pirates of the Caribbean style. He's all He's bone. A skeleton. He's all bone. Mm-hmm. What's the damage? Because it is it's radiant D20. damage, isn't it? He's a Captain Jack uh, Sparrow. He's a Captain Jack Sparrow. He's a radiant damage. Because he's uh, weak to that, so it'll do double. So 2d10? Is that... Yeah, 2d10s, okay. and it'll do double damage because it is radiant, I assume, isn't it? Does yeah, it said radiant, radiant okay. damage. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ten. Twenty-two. Okay. Okay, um, Utofa, what do you do as your opportunity to attack? I'll let you roll with advantage. Since it's a long ways, I'm gonna do my, uh, um, Okay, roll with advantage. Um, does it say any plus modifiers to it? Like, your light bow plus something, and then 1d something plus something. You're proficient with the bow, so it'd be a plus two, at least. And, uh... Okay, roll me a 1d20 plus two. Ten. Twelve does not hit. No, it's ten. Eight. Oh, okay. Sorry, still does not hit. Uh, the arrow just misses over his shoulder. Edda, roll an opportunity attack 1d20 plus whatever you're going to use. The divine... Divine smite? Yeah. Okay, cool! (laughs) That's the first time that's been used okay, in this campaign, cool. I think. Cool. What does it say? Uh, 2d8. Radiant. Does it say spellcaster level by chance? Uh, it's usually... First level, three slots. It's under the spells. Okay, so spellcaster level is usually 8 plus your... Intelligence modifier? Um... Zero. I got a negative one slashed out. So what's your uh, eight? So I have to roll over eight to see if I get hit by it. And I roll. What is this? Is this a six or a nine? Group decision. That is a nine. Well, where's the dot? Is it have a dot? It's got a line. Oh, it's a nine. 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 I pass. Sorry. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're sweating a little there. <laughs> I was like, no, that does double damage. Oh no. Is that a level one spell? Yes. You have one more. One more, okay. Level one spell? You have... Uh, fuck. Does it say your spell slot somewhere? Does it say I like have level... four level one spell slots and three level two spell slots. He should be two. Lots. He should be Mine's two and three. Is it three and one? Or is it just three level ones? Yep, three level one spots. Okay, slots. Oh, yeah, now I'm saying it the way you are. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, we are back to the top of the order. It is Utofo. He's he's making a dash with the door, and you as Utofo are concerned with this because you know that he has a vengeance for King Gark, who you align to. You have realized that Drothnor has no no intention of helping you and wants to reborn this monster that Healy has barely kind of mentioned. Um... Can I, He's gonna like, keep moving. Take the water out of the fountain and shove them against the wall. Yes. What move? What did that say? Uh, move water. Yeah. Control air and water. Yep. That's really saying that. That's holy water too. That's a good move. Okay. It'll do double. So it doesn't really say anything. He says charisma spell casting. Uh, Romeo one twenty so, plus your charisma modifier. It's charisma. Yeah. Shit, you hit. I know you hit at this point. (laughs) Okay, what's the holy water say? Do you have Do you have an attack written down? Um, for bless. Yeah, we'll call it bless. It's three people to add one to the attack. Roll me a one d four. We'll double it, and that'll be the attack, the damage too, as it pushes Yuya to the side. 
You guys are getting there, honestly. Like, it's moving along. It's not... He's he's looking generally fucked up, but not enough to be super concerned. What did you say? 1d4 plus... Times 2. Times 2. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Good bayo. Yep, you gotta charge us for that. Um, fuck, can I use my shovel and just hit him in the face? An improvised weapon? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna chuck the shovel at him. 1d20. Uh, no, I'm not gonna chuck the shovel at him. I'm gonna run up in front of him and I'm gonna hit him in the face with the shovel. Oh, you're gonna swing it? Okay, 1d20. And we'll call it bludgeoning damage. Fuck, this is six. Oh, wait, oh, wait. yeah, no, it's, no, it's a nine. Okay, well... That's nine, right? Yeah. A dog. You still don't hit. I don't hit, but it was... Uh, it's you... Here, right? Okay, so we'll say this. Um, you swing the shovel at his head, and it clocks it off sideways, and then he just goes... Because he's... Gross bones. Boy. He's bones. He just snaps it right back on. So, Helia sees the two guards in front of him, and he is going to go ahead and just... Swing at them to get him, get them out of his way. What gonna, guards? These, these guards? two guards. He's gonna. How is he there already? He got pushed. That's his. That's his icon right there. The green one. Right no, 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 no. Keep moving to the right. Keep moving to the right. Oh. oh okay. Are I didn't. Serious? You all right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing while it's going to I'm going to save that clip. I'm going to save that. Uh, Helia sees the two guards in front of him and the pyramid, and he is going to try to slash with this claws at the two guards, one each, and then pick up the pyramid with his tail. Okay? He hits one. He doesn't hit the other one. The first one does... 28 shit. Four damage. So he falls down and he's like, oh shit, you wanna like pull one out? Pull the one to the left. Throw him to the side. Uh, I'm gonna roll 1d20 to see if he grabs that. He swipes up the the green pyramid that you guys like got dropped over the whole scarab thing. Mm -hmm. Swipes it up, grabs it in his tail, and he's gonna get, like continue to move out of the pyramid. You're losing him very quickly. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the pyramid is sinking. How closely related is or friendly is Edda to Jalen's character? They're bros, but like Drothnor doesn't want to accept it. It's more of like that annoying little brother kind of thing. Up, I'm just like, trying to figure Drothnor out like, how's he gonna act if he sees okay, those so, two fighting. So what's happening? Oh, and when I so if this guy was gonna kill do, Edda, I mean, whatever, then he wasn't gonna to. like be with him anymore. <laughs> okay, it's hey, like, hey. Edda, oh my. God. This is a good question for you. Edda just asked, Zach asked what Edda's relationship is with Drothor. Please tell me. <laughs> so, like, I really hated this motherfucker to start, but I'm, he's kind of growing on me. I just need to know and how like, he's going to act if you, like, attack like, or try to help what's No, next. like, 0 out of 10, like, I'm not even going to lie, like, 8 out of 10, I like this motherfucker. You like Edda? Yay! Like really that's good for me. <laughs> okay, but how should I act? They did sleep if... in the same tent. So they did sleep uh, in the same tent. Some brokeback would... mountain going there. Adam would definitely. Oh my god. He would because he's naive and doesn't Fucking know better. Oh my. He's like you're Adam my friend and I don't want to protect you. No, he's a young boy looking up to like a mentor. So he's gonna be really confused if he sees him siding with. Yeah, because yeah. Drothor is a bad influence. Absolutely. So he's gonna be really fucking. Drothor, yes. it's your turn. Adam's okay. Very <laughs> But not yet. <laughs> uh, Helia just slashed one of those guards. The one that you gave all that money to. He he just slashed him for four damage. But fucking why though? Because he wants out of the pyramid. It's sinking. It's sinking. Let me remind you, the pyramid is sinking. We are drowning in sand. I'm keeping here. track in real time, by the way. If we do not get out, we will suffocate like, in sand. Dude, sink. I'm just going to side with Helia. No! What? What do you do? What do you do? It's your turn. I just want to try to convince these people, like, 
stop attacking Helia. Yeah, like, we need to kill King Dark. Okay, but that's not even the issue right now. Our pyramid is, like, he's and we're, like, so about to what? Be, Pier- okay, we are about look, to be look, buried in like, sand. What, like, on the steps? Yeah, 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 that's about right. He's on the steps. He's making his way out of the pyramid. He doesn't care about you, and this it's sinking. He wanted you to get the runes, and you're not getting the hourglass quickly enough. He doesn't think that he can get the Sunblade back from Helia, or excuse me, from Etta, but he's got a hold of the Green Pyramid. What do you do, Drop I'm gonna give all that shit to Helia. You don't have oh anything. My God. You, don't you don't have, don't anything. have anything. I'm gonna try to get it all. Are you gonna make another strength contest? Yeah, I have it. Play a roll for me. From who? From Utofo or from Edda? Okay, wait. Another what? Edda has a sunblade. Play a roll for me. Good. No, Drothnor, you roll for you. Wait, who are you taking it from? Okay. You've seen my rolls, though. Jalen, sit the fuck up. My rolls are horrible. Jalen. Edda has a sunblade, so if you get all of the runes, then you still have to get the sunblade. Eleven. Oh, God. Are you trying to pull it from Utafo? Yeah. Roll me a 1d20. Are you serious? See if you get it from him. No, not no, him. Oh, you. No, me. We'll take it. <laughs> what was it? 18. He got an 18. Uh, 6. Do you want to give it to him? No. <laughs> well, you still have it, so drop him. Run. <laughs> run, if you want to run. Okay. Run. Healy is running out the door. Are you running with him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fred. There's Fred. <laughs> Will you move drop north up 30 feet? I can't honestly even see It's kind of hard. Come on, Brad. Two to three inches. Give me the bread, <laughs> God It's in your it. mouth. <laughs> I think I'm going to finish that first. Okay. Here's some water. Anna, it is your turn. All I can do is run, right? I mean, you get it. You can run and... Hey, can someone make me another Moscow mule? No, no, absolutely no. not. <laughs> what the... No. You're a communist! <laughs> <laughs> Jalen, just so good for a minute, I'll make you another, alright? Okay. No. Deal. Okay. What do you want to do, Edda? I mean, all I can do is run, right? You can run. Uh, this is fucking bread. I mean, can I run and use my spell, like, if I get close enough? Who said yeah. give Jalen bread instead of the I mean, it's my bowls. last, I'll use my last Divine Smite. <laughs> you can use Divine Smite. Okay. Because, I mean, I can't swing at him. No, it's too far. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's five, it's five feet per square, so, like, 30 feet. I rolled a 19, I'm sorry, I still passed that. The Divine Smite doesn't hit. <laughs> Someone threw uh, bread at me. I'm sorry, this was a big bad guy. This was the big evil bad guy at the end. Okay. Alright. Every tell me what you want to do. What are you trying to get out of this fight? Because seven rounds is pretty far to go. Well, right now we're just getting out, right? Like he's going out. He's so leaving no because, the sa- to because be the sand because the sand's rising. So he I'm he's taking out. the green pyramid. He doesn't think he can get the 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 sun blade. You still have a hold of the hourglass, like what are we doing? Can I like do like a like do you go like a dash like, action? A dash, yeah. yeah. Uh, Holy shit, this bread is. Go ahead amazing. and just make a dash action. <laughs> It'd be seventy feet, so mark out seventy. Or wait, sixty to <laughs> me. Your, your speed is thirty, right? Not thirty-five. Um, I think it's thirty. It should be it should be thirty to thirty-five usually. <laughs> cool. So move sixty feet. Uh, Helia is not honestly concerned with you, really, like. At this Even point, the, at this point, the sand's probably like a good foot, ten inches to a foot. I don't think that's. Uh, Nevaeh, this is fucking blood. Mad dash to the door. Yes. Okay, sixty feet. Okay. Move it now. He, Helia has his back to you guys. He's not super concerned. He's made it off Which of the pyramid. Which one am I? You're white. white. Am I was like really there. there? It's 60 feet, you said? If it's a dash, a dash action does double the amount of speed that you can move, but you take an opportunity attack. I'm not going to take the opportunity attack because Helia has his back turned to you guys. Okay. So at this point, it's become a, like, the the pyramid is shaking. Go ahead. You said that your square is five feet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 The pyramid is shaking, and there's rocks falling from the ceiling as you guys dash across 
and are going to try it. At this point from now on, we're going to make uh, sure, dexterity yeah. checks for your dash actions. Because the pyramid is falling. Huey is going to turn around when you turn him. He's going to turn? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Who's the closest? The two guards and Edda? Yeah. No, not Edda. No, um, Tofo. Okay. You, Tofo, you're the closest, and who else? I have three I have three attacks, so then I'm trying Nevaeh. to figure out how I want to face them. It goes to me and then the Nevaeh. No, but still, there's the guards. Guard laying yeah. down, the guards standing up that he missed, and... Okay. Uh, two, the two guards will get called. And Utofo, you will be attacked with the sting, like the tail. Okay. Okay. First one hits. Second one hits. They both do... Okay. Keep track of that. Uh, 18. Does 18 hit your armor class? Oh, my fucking God, yeah. 13, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sting attack... This 2d8 two two plus 4 piercing damage and 5d6 poison damage. Hey, someone took a pet for me. Okay. Um, you can make a dc14 constitution saving throw. Okay. Roll me a 1d20 plus your constitution modifier to see if you're poisoned or not. Hey, take a pet for me. 10 plus 2. Nope, you oh. don't make it. Okay. So, 2d8 plus 4. 8. Seven plus four is nineteen. How hard did that hit you? What do you What are you looking like? Twenty out of thirty-nine. You're still at twenty out of thirty-nine. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I can still hit you some. Like I can still hit you. Cool. <laughs> and then it says five d six poison damage, but that seems like fucking nuts. So I'm gonna call it three d six, and you didn't pass. Two, one, three. So, what is six. that? Six. Take another six off. Droth Nord, it's your turn. You see Helia running out the door, kind of leaving you behind. Uh-huh. Uh, Utofo just got attacked by Helia. Edda has made his way into the room, and he's still fighting Helia. What do you want to do? Whatever Helia wants to do. He's running. But you, he told you to get the, uh, all the runes. And Utofo still has the hourglass. Um, and yeah. still has the sunblade. No, he doesn't. Who has yeah, the sunblade? Yes, he does. He dropped, because remember, it fell to the ground between that two and four struggle. But then he used, instead of his, uh, like, disengage action, instead of attacking, he went and got the, picked up the sunblade. I'm going to get the sunblade from Helia. From Etta. For Helia. For Helia. Dude, you're such a douche. What? <laughs> Drop the runs up to Edda and, and he grabs it. Uh, what do you do in this situation, Edda? Ask him why. Like, why the fuck do you want this blade? Because we gotta kill King Garg. Like, and I'm just me. like, nigga, what? Dude, trust me on this shit. Like, if no. this, if this country not. goes to shit, there's a lot fucking more. But he, not trust him. But he's my king, bro. But he's my king, bro. Is <laughs> so on par with that. No, it really it is. It really is. No, no. Uh, fuck <laughs> King Garg. Fuck your king. Uh, give me this goddamn sword and I'll slice your goddamn head off. Hell no. <laughs> what the fuck? Your, every, both of you roll give a your balls a tug, you tip fucker. <laughs> both of you roll a strength check. 1d20 plus your strength modifier. See, I'm assuming you're grabbing the sword. Who gets it? What was it? It was. What did you roll? Nine, I rolled nine yet. Nine plus two. Seven plus three, ten. What well, I roll? I can't read it. Oh no! Nine plus That's plus. Drothnor what is it? rips the blade out of Edda's hands. But what is it? It's That's a what? nine, you god damn But, his, yeah. but it's yeah, a strength check. It's yeah. a strength check. So, it's a really more of a strength contest. Yeah. Than anything. So. Drothmore rips this out of his hands. Of course I'm struggling, you fucking pussy. Clear your mouth, and I want you to give something to say to Edda after you pull it out of his hands. Because this has been a big turn of character, but an in-turn character as well. I look at him, I'm like... No, clear your mouth. 
<laughs> I can't hear you. Yeah, fucking pussy. Okay. Drothmore now has the Sunblade. Keep track of your stats for it, the plus twos for everything. Yeah. Yeah. And it's your turn. Can I see his character sheet real quick? No. No? <laughs> no yeah, you can take bro. a big hydraulic suck on my nuts. Alright. Um. <laughs> Fuck, I'm really betrayed now, shit. You should be. You, you honestly should, should be. be. This is so good. Absolutely fucking fight. I'm gonna fucking stab him with my longsword. Fuck, it. Ass. Fuck yes. you all in the Do ass. Do it. As Etta, and being a former... In tears. As a former NPC of mine, give it to me and I'll let you roll with advantage. Because this is so in I tell you what, yeah. in fucking tears, like, I thought we were bros, but he's my king. We are bros! I'm still stabbing your ass. We roll, are bros! Roll me 2d20s, you're Fucking rolling with advantage. Bagel. You get the higher number. What 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 are you 14. using? 14. My longsword. Uh, it should have a plus to it. Roll me another d20, though. I'll uh, still have a plus attack plus 5 20. to hit, reach 5, hit 1d. Plus 5, okay, okay, okay. Roll me another d20. 16. Okay, so you get 16 plus 5, 21. You absolutely hit Drothnor with this. You're shaking at this mm -hmm. point. Roll me your what your longsword damage. Four. It's plus what? Three. No, I got a one, so it's a plus three, making it oh, four. Oh, four. Hey, uh, Drothnor, take four damage. I've got six HP left. You have <laughs> you have six now or six before the damage reduced? I had ten. Now you have six. 30 equals 10 right now. Right at 40. <laughs> and after you're done, it's your turn. Okay, so... I'm gonna try to... This is all this. going down so quickly. Wait. The pyramid's shaking and trembling. Oh, fuck. So, I like, I'm up. the only one... I didn't see that whole two-hand thing. Sorry, you yep. didn't call it beforehand. Yeah, I know. I'm the only one with, like, an item, right? Where's the rest of my goddamn You still have go. one of the runes. So, like, I don't want uh, to get has the Sunblade now. Shakespeare, Etta did you take my goddamn the, bread? Excuse me. Helia has the the green pyramid. You have the blue hourglass. Fuck it. Can I get, like, an arrow with a, like, and have, like, a Molotov on it? I have you want to, like, like, shoot a Molotov them. in your crossbow? Yeah. Can you just wrap it in clothes, light on fire? Yeah, you could, like, Ooh, you I could have, light it I and then costumes. shoot it. Costumes. Can I wrap it, in, like wrap it in those clothes, and I can like. So a big old fireball. Yeah. 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 I'll see double damage for this. That sounds good. Yes. Okay, one d twenty. What did what did our house rules say for Molotovs? Do you remember? Mm. I have one d six plus two. Nope, it's a one d eight. Our Molotov co cocktail house rule is one d eight. So roll me a one d twenty to see if you hit Helia. I'm assuming you're throwing a Helia, or you're throwing a drop door. Helia. Okay. Five. You throw it, and now it hits the ground and explodes, but it doesn't, like, get far enough. And now the path behind him has been engulfed in flames. So he can't necessarily see you guys, but he can't turn back either. There's still, like, a little bit of a wall of fire. Like, do you see uh, the lower, like, just below the red triangle at the base of the red triangle? There's fire right there. Okay. Um, this is this is a, a mix between you're trying to like fight Helia, but also escape the sinking pyramid. I want you to understand that like at this point the pyramid is probably like yeah, fifty feet above ground. So inside the room you're in is it, over a foot of sand. I'm not um, making you roll a disadvantage because it equals itself out. Everybody has to do it. I want to attack him, but I also just want to get the fuck out of this pyramid. Side. Uh, I'm just going to go. I'm going to run. Dash action. I'm going to make a mad dash. 70 feet. Or 60 feet. I, I never remember if it's 30 or 35. It's... it's Your speed. Your speed. It's, and it's 30. Okay, make 30, 60 feet. So it's 60. Uh, you will make a dash through the fire. Roll me a 1d20 for that. 12. You, like, jump straight through it, so you're bound to get a little wear and tear. Your robes are singed and burned. 
Um, but you made it past it. Did you move your pin already? No. Okay. Go ahead and move your pin 60 feet. I just want to know from you guys, is this turning into a mad dash for the door? Uh, and back? No, it's more of a confusion right now. Okay, between you and... Between you and Drothnor. Yeah, I'm really fucking confused. First of all, I didn't realize until she told me. Uh, and then... Whoa, how did that happen? It's like something you see in a cartoon. You're like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Does the whole, like, shaggy, like, stop run for a second, but then you get, like, exponential speed, like, psh. <laughs> I sent it to the group. I don't know, like, how, like, in-depth you are of the, like, Shaggy memes going on, but they have definitely introduced yeah, Shaggy as a monster. Did he show you that? Yes. Go look at our group chat. Go look at our group chat. Shaggy is now a monster of ungodly strength. <laughs> I've been seeing this. I'm just... It's so good. I love it. Why? Cool. Uh, Helia. Let's see. Who's behind him? The two guards still? He has the pyramid. Helia? And Utofo's in front of him. No, Utofo's not in front of him. Uh, Utofo's yeah, yeah. behind him. Okay. And Nevaeh's behind him, so... Um... He's going to look at you guys, and he's gonna scream, It's too late! The egg of the world has already been broken! The serpent will rise again! And he's gonna make a mad dash for the doors. 60 feet, but everybody gets a disengage act. Uh, okay. An opportunity attack. Yeah. Move him 60 feet, like... This way. I was thinking it would be like just behind the fire, so that's cool. Cool. Um, everybody can get a disengaging action opportunity attack. Drothnor, are you taking an attack? Nope. Okay. Utofo, are you taking an opportunity attack? I just want to get out. Okay. Uh, you can dash in that if you want to. Okay. Uh, 30 feet. 30. Yep. Uh, Etta, what do you do? Does he notice all this going on in front of him? What do you mean going on? Who and what do you mean? Everything that's been happening up here, because I mean he just Helia's Helia's running. He's made it with one of the three runes. Okay. He believes that Drothnor is gonna get the hourglass. But what is? But he, he has the sunblade actually. Or do you? No, he just took it. Yeah. No. He, that's what I'm yeah. trying to say. Is he still focused on him, or is he knows no. what's going on? No. He has he hasn't noticed what Drothnor's honestly up to. He's just so he's running. So he's, he's just, running out of the pyramid. Does he he doesn't notice the thinking. wall of flame. Uh, no. He doesn't so he's still that. fucking oblivious, so he's not going to do anything. I'm going against the hourglass. Okay. What are you doing? Well, he's oblivious. He's not doing anything. He's still focused on that. Yeah. Idea. Yeah, he is. What are you doing in this it's opportunity attack? Because Helia ran for it, so everybody gets an opportunity attack. You gotta take years. But on him. On Helia. Yeah. But he's too far from me to do anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. I don't think you're... You could take a disadvantaged javelin throw at him. So nothing? Okay. Nevea, you have an opportunity to attack. Healy is still running for the door. Drothmore and Edda are locked in this, like, tearful bro moment. And Utofo has been just, like, trying to escape as well. She knows that the, the pyramid is sinking. She's, not, she, she's with you. The pyramid's sinking. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like we're leaving Edda behind. He almost died at the You're beginning like, of this. I just want to point that out that, like, he almost died. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to make a bad dash, but For I the also door? want to do inflict wounds on Helia. Uh, I'm you can't make a mad dash and inflict wounds. You can do a normal normal movement and inflict wounds. So I will do a normal movement and inflict wounds on Helia. Okay, move 30 feet and. Mm -hmm. As Nevaeh, like, runs up the corridor behind Helia, he's got his back turned to her. Mm -hmm. And you're using Inflict Wounds. Mm -hmm. Is it a DC safe throw? Target takes 3 to 10 of Necrotic damage. I have to make a spellcast like safe for it. Minutes, okay. uh, DC 13. I failed it. So what is it? Uh, 3? Yeah. 3d10. It's half because it's necrotic and he's immune to necrotic. 3d10? Yeah. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. 4. 2. 5. Oh, wait. 6. Sorry. 10. With 10 total or 10 again? 16 total. 16 total. Okay. Cool. 
This has gone a little longer than I thought. I think it's going to turn into a little something else. Though. Like, Two of them with the ring of the ram. It's out of charges. We might be done with it if we didn't have somebody like turn their back on us. You know, <laughs> if they have Just one know. more person fighting in the mix, maybe. <laughs> Well, it's now down to two people fighting him, so... Yeah. Okay, so Healy's going to turn around, and he's going to look at you guys, and he's going to look at Nebe, and he says, I have a message for your queen as well. Mm. Tell that bitch I'm coming for her next. Nope. And he's going to go ahead and take two calls at you. Mm. Critical fail. One. So I'm going to roll with disadvantage on the next one. Because that's not good. Three. He misses both. He swings at you, but you move out of the way and are telling him what? No, uh uh. Yeah, Z snap at his ass. Much. I'm going to Z snap at his ass. Okay, you see? I'm like, no, the fuck you are. Okay, cool. Drop Nord. I wanted to get the hourglass. So you're going to, like, run towards me, right? What do you want to do? Everybody's leaving except for you and Etta are locked in this bro combat. <laughs> well, I'll, I either want to save Etta or get the hourglass. Well, you're not saving Etta I so much as fighting ass. him. Yeah. I don't want to fight Etta. I want to get the hourglass. Give me the goddamn sword bag. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? You have to make a dash towards Utopia. She still has it. She's okay. exited the room. Okay. He's going to push past Get Etta. Get and you got to roll. Just roll it. <laughs> so close to toast. So close to toast. He got a seven. seven. Shit holes. <laughs> he pushes past Etta, pushes him down, and makes a dash for the door. He's outside the flaming door now. They're... Etta, it's your turn. I mean, I'm drinking. still after him and the sword. You still have to drop him. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm still really, really... Hurt by it? Yeah. yeah. So I guess, is he close enough for me to do a two-hand swing this time? Yeah. So I come up bum-rushing him with a two-hand swing, still tears Fuck eyes. You. 1d20, plus your two-handed swing, uh, I'm assuming longsword? Yes. Okay. Plus five. Dude. Fuck you. 14 plus five. You, 19, I'm sure you hit his armor class. And then a 1d10 plus four. And it comes up behind you in tears. And he swings at you and says, Trondor Toe! I don't want it to be like this! Nine. Nope. Six. Six. Plus... Okay, I've got... Plus three, so nine. Uh, hey, Claire? What? I've got seven HP. I don't think he even has that. He has six. He has no, six. He has, yeah, he has six. Drop, Lord, drops! Oh my god, he's gonna have to make death saving throws from this point on. So what, what is he at now? What did you say? It hit... Nine. Nine, what was the thing? Oh, so he's like negative three. Negative three. Please keep track of that for me. Once you hit negative ten, you don't come back and you don't make death saving throws. Drawknor has fallen to the ground at a, in tears even more because he's hurt his friend to this point and that he knows that it had to be this way. <laughs> Does he move up though since he attacked him? Yeah. Yeah. In character, I'm a little sad too. I didn't want to see you really die. <laughs> this is turning into something I never thought you was going to happen. You can just take a big hydraulic and suck on my nuts. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm still sad that you died. You tell No matter what you, you say. You just eat my asshole. The pyramid so is shaking bad. very hard. Uh, there's sand rising almost your, like, calves at this point. Dude, he's fucked. <laughs> and drop on his fall. Dude, I am... F- I'm bad fucked. But what about in the game? That's what you get. Yeah, <laughs> both. <laughs> So, Yutofo, what do you do? Save him. No, 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 no. You don't have to save him for nothing. So, I'm out of the sand now, right? You're going up the stairs. Yeah. But I can see him, so can I attack him? Yeah. Okay, I'll just do my crossbow. God damn it. What do you 20 plus? Are you proficient in crossbow? Yeah. Okay, so plus two. 15, 17. It hits. Awesome. What's your hit dice say? Uh, I think it's four. One d four. Yeah. One d four plus two, please. That's yeah, how much damage you do for a crossbow. Yeah, that's what we did last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, one. Plus two. Yeah. Nevaeh. 
This is probably the last round. I'm gonna give you that forewarning. You may get um, one more. For the same. I'm really just trying to get mad dash out of this Again, place. mad dash. For, are you gonna get in front of Helia to do this? Because if you make a mad dash for it, he makes you will be in front of him. Yeah, I guess. Gotcha. I'm gonna make mad dash. Do it. I just want to make sure you don't critically fail. Uh, six. It's not a critical fail. That's all that matters. I just wanted to make sure you didn't make a 1d20 during this, all this commotion or whatever. Okay. Uh, um, so, move 60 feet. At this point, you are neck and neck with Yulia for the entrance of the pyramid. Uh, you haven't seen the entrance of the pyramid in quite a while. It's been probably a week to a week and a half the total time you guys have spent inside this dungeon. Or pyramid, excuse me. Um, do you do anything? You can't, you can prepare an action or bonus action. There's not a whole lot you can do after you use a mad dash. Um, I kind of just want to be like ready to trip. Like, throw Julia. a stick underneath his like, feet? Like, I yeah. just want him to fall. I don't want him to get out. How? Fuck, what do I throw him in the fire? No, that won't hurt him a lot. Um, okay, so I have stones and a sling. You can prepare an action with your sling. So, I would like to prepare an action for my sling. Roll the advantage on your sling. Okay. It's Helia's turn. He sees you in front of you. It sees you in front of him, excuse me. And... He's gonna turn around and kind of face all of you and say, It's too late. I can feel the creature moving underneath the earth. The revival has begun. And he's gonna turn and make a normal action of 30 feet, which I assume will be outside the pyramid. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody can make a, disen uh, a disengage opportunity to attack. Who wants to? Uh, I guess I'd like to. Okay, tell me what you're using. We'll go, we'll go clockwise from each other. What are you using? Um, well, I'm too far away to use anything but a crossbow, right? Alright, 1d20 plus 2, and then the 1d6 if it hits. Or 1d4, 1D4 plus 2 if it hits, yeah. 16. Doesn't hit. Wait, 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 what's your... Modifier for it. Plus two. 18. It hits. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it hits. Okay, so we're going to be a 1d4 plus two. As he's got his back turned, this bolt flies two. through the air and does four. him for four damage. And it slices him finally in the spine. And he, like, convulses just for a second. Edda, what do you do? I can't do it. Yeah, he's too far. I... You have a javelin. If you're really that concerned about making an attack, you have a javelin. I'm still in bro moment. I just killed my bro. Well, what I do you do in that scene? Tell me what you do. When you see that Drothnor is in front of you and is going to have to make death saving throws on his opportunity. Drothnor? I grab the sword. Like, sun still teary eyes. The sun blade's sword. back in your hands. Yeah. Okay. Are you running for the door? You, ha how, you can how still move. How high is the sand? How high is the sand? Like 14 to 16 inches. Can I make an attempt to grab his dead ass? Yeah. Roll me a 1d20 plus strength. Are you carrying him? Like, sword in one hand, him in the other yeah, dragon. Yeah, carrying him, dragging him along. 12 plus... Strength modifier. Where's my strength? 3, so 15. You pull Drothnor through the sand. Um, a curvature behind him of where you've been dragging him, but you're moving. Um, I will say 30 feet. You don't get to make a full, like, dash action or anything yeah. like that, but you can move 30 feet. And if it has to be a little sideways, we count, like, diagonals as so five So curvature? Still. Yeah, you can still count five. Like, five is a diagonal move. We won't round. We won't square it. It doesn't... I don't want to do it that way. That's too much. Okay. Rubea, what do you do in your opportunity attack? Edit... Or, excuse me. Helia is neck and neck with you. Like, just right there with you. The, the door out of the pyramid... It's less than 10, 15 feet. And he's looking at you, he's looking at everybody else, and he knows that he either needs yeah, to move now, or he's not going to make it out. Can I attack him again? So I have my 
go into wrestling. Yes, and you prepared an action for it. I did. So you have an advantage. So I would like to hit him with a stone and then just kind of run like my normal. Just to kind of like stun? Kind of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Roll me an advantage roll. 2d20s take the higher. 2d20s. Uh, 16. Whoops, shit, sorry. That I won't count it. I won't count, count it. And 16. Um, what are you hitting with your sling? What's your uh, modifier for your sling? I would say it's at least uh, plus two. I can't read your hand right now. Sorry. <laughs> it's a plus three. You hit. Okay. 1d4 cool. damage. Eight. It's, it's almost dead. Can the guards shoot too? Like, can you make him? They're, they're kind of like dazed in all of this because all they, like, what they saw was they were chilling, they talked to you guys, you all went through this barrier, and the next thing, like, two minutes later, everybody's running out like mad hell after the pyramids start shaking. So they're like, ah, ah, what the fuck? Like, what are, you, what are you guys running from? And then, like, Sands rising up next to them, and they're, like, gonna start making their way out the door as well, but they're not necessarily. Like, concerned with fighting Helia, this big giant fucking bone devil that came through. They're like, Ha! Ah, ah, ha! I'm gonna get out of here too! This is not worth it! Who was that? I that was the Helia to take the opportunity yeah, yeah. attack. Okay, cool. Draw off Nord. Make a death saving throw. 1d20. I'll tell you whether you save or not. Uh, nine, nine, six. Is it 6? Okay. So, the way death saving throws work, that you get three fails three successes. A nat 1 is two fails, a nat 20 is two saves. Depending on which you get first, if you get three saves or three fails, depends on whether you become conscious again or you in this really or you make a new character. That was it's, his first one, right? Yeah, that was his first one and it's a fail. Okay. Cool. I will keep track of that. It's Nevaeh's turn, isn't it? Mm, no, no, it's your it's turn. It's my turn. It's your turn. Okay, I'm going to shoot at him again. Okay. Roll me a 1d20 plus your plus 2. Yeah. 9. Doesn't hit. Now it's going to be a start. <laughs> Sam's rising. Do you guys think that you're going to be able to like finish this off in the last opportunity? Or you think... And then what happens when he makes it back outside the pyramid? What happens when he's back on flat ground, back outside the entrance camp where Vigil Reef brought you? Remember that? He said that the serpent arises, like... Nevaeh. What's up? What do you do? It's your turn. We're so close to ending. Mm. Helia is just a few feet from the door, and everybody's getting the real sense of dread of what happens after he makes it outside. Um, okay, so... Four HP left. I have four HP. I have four HP left okay. as Helia. No, I'm gonna do four points. DC save thirteen. Wait, you have one more of those. What's that called? Ring of the Ram. I've used. No, we've used them all. You, do you have a Moonbeam still? Yeah, I'm gonna do a four. Moonbeam's radiant damage on the bubble. Okay. What? Your choice. I just wanted to let no, you know. I yeah. didn't realize that I had. Uh, Cause how many? You've only used what two spells? Two. And you have four. I've got four. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and do the moonbeam again. Fail. Only your two d ten. Isn't that what it was? Two d tens or three? It was three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I hate that I when I'm right. I hate when I'm right. <laughs> Seven. Fuck. So, all together, what is that? 15? 16. 16? Uh... Cool. Oh my god. Cool. Tell me how you want to do this. Tell me how you want to hit him with this moonbeam. Because uh, he's at de he's he's death's dead. door. Okay. Um... He's at negative 14, just so we're clear. But, like, you, you did it. He so finally I went over the edge so and the negative 10. So I have to kill him with my moonbeam, right? 
it like shines upon him and the rays are burning. So I want to use like all of the power that I have. Okay. To One last stand. Into these rays that are going on Helia. Okay. And I just want to fucking fry him. Okay, so as the moonbeam moves from your body and just barrels down the path into Helia, the light shines upward from him. And you can see the smoke burning off of the bones. And he starts screaming and No! No! And it like slowly deteriorating. Um, but as the like his spine goes and you know he's slowly deteriorating down to like the torso, you see the scarab run from his right eye down his face, down the skeletal form, and hits the ground and is running towards the exit. So I'm gonna catch it. Twenty twenty. Everybody can make a roll for it if you want to check it. Like, if you want to do this, this is the one time uh, we do it. If you want to try to catch the scarab that's been, like, this big evil source. Um, I've got an 8, 17. Am I too far away, or like what? No, just roll no, for it. No, just roll for it. Utopo has the drawer that has the other scarab in it. Four. I have a 17. Yeah. Okay. Utopo manages to grab the scarab in the same jar that you got the first one in. Yeah. And you seal it tightly behind you. And what do you do? We're, we can we can leave the cap on this now, but the oh, pyramid yeah. is still okay. sinking. Uh, Drothnor has not made all of his death saves. He, so as of now, he's unconscious on the floor being dragged by Etta. You have reduced Helia to a pile of bone ash. But his, his echoing words do not leave your mind. You do not feel that this is over, but as of now, you know that it, I can... I can take a moment to to reassess my surroundings no, and to come, and to, and to come right. back. You defeated him. His HP is very, very below zero, but the pyramid's still sinking. There's still other crises to handle. Crises to handle. You have the scarab. The two scarabs in the one jar. I'm just and they're just like tearing out. around, like running around and shit, like... What do you do? I'm not this is this it. is out of this is out of combat. We've exited combat. I'm not gonna open it or anything. I'm okay. just gonna keep them. What do you do? Run for the door? Yeah. Okay. Everybody runs for the door, you make it outside, and just as you make it outside, the pyramid crumbles behind you. What are we doing with Drop Door? Are you bringing him? Uh, I'm gonna leave him at the front of the pyramid with the potion. So he can choose to save himself the potion. Yes, no, maybe. No, because he can't do it by himself. He's, He's unconscious. unconscious yeah. So if I give it to him, it'll be a while before he revives, right? No, he would get the hit points immediately. But it would still be just a minimal amount of time before the pyramid crumbles on top of him. But we're outside. No, you're still inside. We're still inside? Then we just can't keep dragging. Are you trying to run outside? Yeah, I'm still dragging his ass out. Outside. Jennifer, outside? Yes. Topo. Yep. Outside. Everybody comes outside, and... Behind them, the pyramid crumbles behind them and sinks back in the sand. You realize that you're back at the base camp that you originally started from, and Visual Reef is pulling people and monsters alike out of the like entrance of the pyramid. Pulling the dwarves, pull that dwarf that you saw, that fucking rock merchant, he's pulling him out. He's pulling the scare the succubus out. He's pulling everybody out. And he sees you guys and he says, I thought you didn't make it. And he grabs all of you and just pulls and pulls and pulls. And you all make it outside, and you're standing in front of the pyramid as it just, like, rumbles back into the earth. And there's probably only, like, ten feet left above ground, and it's a very small section, and it's, like, the dome section that where you fought Helia, and it's sinking back underneath. Um, as it goes underneath and is completely encased by the sand, a green light shimmers out of the sand and flies off into the distance. Mm. The Jareef looks at you guys, and his big burly, one-armed voice, he looks at you all and says, I've been so worried. I really didn't know if you made it. I had, hadn't heard any word. I didn't know. Uh, uh, Etta, you look, you look hurt. Are you okay? Because you've got this big gash in your chest. Uh, Utofo, you, she see, he sees all of your arrows expended. All of this, like, you've been through a battle. 
to get back alive and you're panting for breath, what do you guys do? Do you want to tell Helia what happened? Or to gosh, my names are all no, fucky today. Want to tell tell Vigiri. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I'll I'll be Vigiri. Tell me what you guys would have. Uh, I'm utterly silent. I, I just know. went through a whole program. Ed, <laughs> Ed is crying because he's still like crying over Drothmore's body. Uh, wait, he's he, dead now? No. Do you want okay. to roll death save for him, Clay? Yeah. Okay. We'll roll until he decides whether he's conscious or dead. Yeah, maybe Ed, I Wait, I was gonna say, I just give him a potion since it's all over. Okay, cool. That's so I you revive him, 1d8. We'll totally, we won't worry about the actual numerical amount. Um, but I keep my distance after so, I But he's still him. unconscious. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I asked um, earlier. So, so everybody tells, him. what do you tell <laughs> Vigil Reef? What happened inside? Because he has no idea. We want to tell him about Just like our long dreams. Spit it out, Osmir! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't even remember where we started. Okay. So. Fuck, can we just say we told him everything? <laughs> I, just, I want to I recap. Really I genuinely want to <laughs> recap. Um. Spit it out! Blank. Why is this boy in blood and this typhling dead? <laughs> Shit. I don't know. Um. What was that green light? He's shaking you a little with his one arm because he only has one arm. Edda just well, says evil, great evil, it's not fair, babe. evil, crying. I yeah. mean, we just defeated this guy. Really I'm gonna tell him that. Like that's the most important. Helia, just that little fucking shit stain. He knows who Helia is. He's had an encounter. In a, Encounters with him before. Intercounters. Intercounters, <laughs> you know. Um, but he. What happened to the eye thing? You described it earlier, then it went away. What thing? You said like there was a whole section where you're like you noticed one of his eyes are different as there's ooze. Yeah, it was like barreling green like energy off and stuff. Okay. And then the green energy of that barreled out of the sand and off. That's the okay. That's yeah. I thought that was a scare. My bad. Uh, wreath says to you guys. After you've explained to him everything that's happened, he brings you guys all close, and he says, I'm so sorry I put you guys through that. I really didn't think it was going to be that bad. I just thought that you would go in and, and find where we needed to send other people or, 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 or figure out the last clue to get through that door. I, I'm so sorry for your loss. And he's looking at Drothnor, assuming he's dead. Um, and he just kind of like grieves to himself a little bit but it's not like super bad he just feels bad that he could have been caused for this and he says to you guys I don't I don't think that we can get back in there we better go tell King Gark mm -hmm. what we found yes I agree and what do you do with Drothmore because he's not going to be particularly happy about this King Gark situation when he wakes. <laughs> I kind of just drag him off away from everybody so when he wakes up, he just is just there by okay. himself. Okay, Vigil Reef brings up four horses on just like on a weed rope, okay. basically. Okay, nice for all four of us, I assume. Well, there's three of you conscious in himself. Well, then I just stick his ass on there, slap the you horse, throw and him on the off. Back. Okay. So you throw him on the back of your horse, I'm assuming? There's only four, and Vigil Reef is coming with you. So he mounts his own horse, and you all mount your horses, and... Yep, I do that. He says, we can't waste any time. I saw the evil that transpired, and the lights, the green light coming out of it. We need to speak to King Garth as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. Flicks the reins, and you all start uh, galloping down the desert sand. And you can see the large kingdom of Jericho in front of you. Large, you know, stone towers and everything like that. But that is where we're going to end. Perfect ending music, by the way. I had to do it quick because I heard it. I heard it. I was like... That's it. The campaign is finally done. Um, we'll 
first let me start with it had an amazing time recording it and playing it and learning the mechanics of everything for D&D. Uh, well, I mean, not learning the mechanics, learning the DM mechanics, stuff I can't tell my players. Um, it was really good for me to learn that kind of stuff and like try to develop the world and everything uh thank you to everyone who's listened even if you've listened to every single one of these episodes and then listen to this right now message me message me i'm gonna be extremely excited thank you up and down you're gonna be my favorite person in the world um i have to say thank you to all my patrons from patreon.com slash meta uh that little increments i of pledges i've got over there have made this campaign so much easier to do and not feel guilty about uh missing out on time that i could be doing something else so thank you guys evan uh joe eric and evan eric joe phil that's it okay yeah yeah, yeah. thank you guys so much um if anyone else wants to contribute or pledge some money that god you guys are too sweet um i will be writing a new campaign probably not have anything the following week after you guys this which will be i don't think i'll have anything coming out on sunday the 24th and then starting uh march we'll just do it all over again i'm gonna start a new campaign with um zach the person you just heard in this last episode uh, my wife jennifer uh claire and jalen want to be a part of it we gotta figure out the characters i'm so excited to do all that um there's so many moving parts behind the scenes if you want to follow along get a hold of me there's some links there yeah okay um you guys made this all worth possible and every second that we got to do this and make this felt amazing D&D is the best game in the world. Please, I hope to see you next time.